Hey everybody, HMV here, playing more Kerbal Space Program, and as promised, I uh, did the Aptor 3 again, and I succeeded this time, not killing the uh, person who you'll you'll meet in a moment, <laughs> our new scientist. Um, also, uh, she pulled back 117.4 science, giving me 122, allowing me to unlock another tech node. That wasn't enough, though, so I built this, which was uh, just a, a rocket-powered uh, car, uh, very simple, that could run around and get all the science from all the biomes around Kerbal Space Center. I did the same thing in my in my last uh, Let's Play. Um, so I'm not going to show you all of the different places, but we uh, did get 188 science. It's kind of funny. We got more science from this than we did for going to Aptor. But uh, with that 220 science, we were able to unlock another two tech nodes. We are one tech node away from being able to do solar panels, but we can now do the barometric readings. So uh, it is safe to go to sauna. Now I could just send a probe to sauna like I said I was going to do, but instead, I'm going to launch this ship right here, and we need to do atmospheric pressure scans. I also need to turn this back on. I set this up to 500. There we go. Setting it to 2 will let me grab these things automatically. I had turned it off because it was causing some problems with the automated probe, but this is not an automated probe. We are going up there. We are sending Genries, our new scientist. She is uh, heading up there. Um, I have chose to, to launch from a different launch pad than where I normally launch from, and apparently it's all twisted around. So the, my first goal here is to hopefully get this over to the 90. Um, I might just try to rotate the 90 up to here and then um, go that way, uh, but we'll see. Uh, in three, two, one, launch. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Uh, I want to get the thing turning as quickly as possible, though. Got more of these. Let's go ahead and take this temperature scan. We're not going to take the EVA report, that's for sure. Um, I guess we're just kind of launching to the left. Okay, um, this is actually the same ship that I sent to, um, I think it was Aptur. Yeah, this is the same one that has multiple landings on Aptur. I figured that had enough. Why bother making a new ship? Um, yes, I'm a little bit lazy. <laughs> so you saw that launch. Um, other than being in a slightly different place, this is basically the same launch, and it's boring. So I will meet you in space. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my computer that I record on, I record on a different computer than I play on. I have two computers. Uh, and the computer I record on uh, crashed. So I luckily noticed it, like, right away and only uh, missed maybe... Um I don't know, 10 seconds of, of audio. So all I did was get my periapsis down. Now, 265 is sauna's atmosphere. I'm at 263. Um, I am going to assume that that is good enough to clip the atmosphere to get all the science, but not so much that, um, let's see, oh, we're high over Kerbin. Uh, but not so much that we're going to arrow break down too much and be in any sort of trouble. If we are... Uh, if we do arrow break really far down, I have a ton of fuel that as long as we get out of sauna's atmosphere, we should be fine. Um, if we get stuck in sauna's atmosphere, I am not 100% sure what we're going to do about that. So let's go ahead and get ourselves out of Kerbin Sphere of Influence and then see what trajectory says. Yeah, see, notice it just says we're going to clip it, which is exactly what we want. And we've also got the reading here out in out in space, high over uh, sauna. So now we're going to um, set up an alarm, a periapsis alarm. Um, I don't want to repeat it. Periapsis, one minute is fine. This should be less than one minute away from there. This is one day, zero hours and 23 minutes. This is one day, zero hours and 24 minutes. So yes, one minute should be perfect. We are going to watch the show. Yeah, there's a new update for this pack out that has better graphics. Um, I've downloaded it. I do not recall if I've installed it yet. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, we're just going to sauna, so I, I don't think it matters that much whether or not I've installed it. Oh, materials, uh, EVA, keep, 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 all the datas. Did you hop out? No, you didn't. Why didn't you hop out? Um, 271, EVA report. Oh, because I was doing that. Okay, you, yeah, uh, keep that and hop back in. Um, I'm a little scared about uh, being in the atmosphere. When uh, when we enter the atmosphere, I'm also going to face forward. 
when we enter the atmosphere so that hopefully we can thrust forward if we need to. Um, when we get to about, um, when we pass our periapsis and then get to 265 again, um, like at 264, as we're coming back up, like 264, eight or something like that, I'm going to try to hop out and get a, get an EVA report really quick. Um, but we'll see what happens here. We are in the atmosphere. We're not going to do the EVA report yet. We're almost past our periapsis already, which is good. Our orbit is barely being touched at all, so I think this is going to be successful. We've already passed our periapsis, I think. Yes, we have. So I think we're going to do the EVA report. Science is worth a little teeny tiny risk. And, okay, do the EVA report. Ah, oh, you're fine. Hop back in. Ha-ha! Oh, and then we're going to get all these readings again that we don't actually care about. And now what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to turn this thing off like I did before. Oh, and we're no longer here. We're going to keep this data, and we're going to also observe this just so we get extra from down here. Because I because this is worth more than anything we're going to get on Kerbin, I think. Okay. Speaking of Kerbin, we do need to burn up a little bit. So I'm going to burn prograde here. Just enough to get us back to Kerbin's... Um, Whatever. <laughs> Set that as a target. We're, we want to we wanna come back and re-meet Kerbin here. Right about there. And then when we get out here, we're going to turn off trajectories because we don't care about it anymore. We're going to burn up. Oh, that's burning down. We're going to burn up. The important thing is getting out of um, Sauna's atmosphere, but we might as well, if we can, snag Kerbin here. There we go, Kerbin periapsis. Something what I should have done with the other ship. This burn is going to cost five sixty six, and we have eight forty six in this stage, so we have plenty of fuel. This is this is far more fuel than we need. God, it's just so pretty. I just realized the fallacy of taking those readings. That means I think that I can survive with this stuff on re-entry of Kerbin, which is not true. So it, it doesn't matter that I took these readings or not. Um, also, this one battery in the uh, command pod has totally done everything for this mission that we've needed. Yeah, I guess Atmo Diver was probably not the correct term, considering we didn't exactly dive into the Atmo as much as skip off it like a stone. Okay, we're waiting for our encounter here. There it is. Okay, I'm going to kill the maneuver node. And all we care about now is our Kerbin periapsis. And we're going to do that like that. Okay. That's a trick, by the way. Um, here's, here's, what I'm, here's what I'm doing. Um, if, we're at, if we want to click on the periapsis here, it's going to come up and say, like, you want to add a maneuver? Hey, you want to add a maneuver? And it won't let you click on it. If you click over here to add a maneuver, and then but leave that up, then you can click on the periapsis and it'll stay up. But okay, we want to go down to about 40-ish. Okay, now we're going to time warp around a full orbit. Boink! Carbon Sphere of Influence. Yay! Okay. Now, we're coming in from the south. We're coming up over the north. we got 40 kilometers here. Uh, just for the fun of it, let's turn on trajectories. That will not be enough to slow us down this orbit, which is fine by me. Um, but we could always bring it down to 35. I think 35 will be safe. That way, that way we should only have like one more orbit after that. Whoa. Yeah. Never try to control your ship at half speed. Okay. If the ship flips around, I'm going to ditch the bottom part. As long as I can keep it though, I might as well keep it. And when we hit periapsis, I'm going to hit the gas. Although it looks like the uh, something is already heating up a bit. Should probably close this. We are 15 seconds from our periapsis. I think at 10 seconds to our periapsis, I can safely hit Z. 
We're coming down this or our next orbit if we stop right here, but I think we're just going to keep burning. Oh, I think I can possibly ditch these. Uh, almost now. <laughs> Making us actually slightly more aerodynamic, so that might not have been the best choice, but hey, what are you going to do? If I can, I'll come down this orbit. I believe the 48-7S has a decent uh, atmospheric thrust. I don't know that for a fact, but it, we might be able to do an assisted landing. It's going to be in the water, which is probably for the best. If we lose this bottom stuff and this uh, science experiment stays, we'll at least get to keep that science experiment. Because I'm pretty sure that the parachute could, could save all this stuff coming down. Oh. <laughs> it's not worth <laughs> uh, Generous's life, though, that's for sure. So as soon as we lost control, that was it. We were not going to screw around. We can get the barometer reading from the ocean. Oh, look at all those explosions. <laughs> we might actually, this might actually survive. Although it's crazily heading upward at over 100 meters per second. Oh, look at that. Jeez, so much nice. That is just going forever. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> I don't think physics works that way. There we go. Look at that. We get a pressure scan from the water. Okay, let's check this thing out. Is it still? Oh, it's bugged. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't go back. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to the space center. <laughs> that was awesome. It is gone forever. Okay, where's our ship? There it is. Let's go ahead and recover you. 128 science, 169 total. That's enough for one tech node. And more importantly, Generous is ready for the next assignment. But more importantly than that even is solar panels researched. We are ready to go interplanetary. We are going to leave the Sana system next episode. I don't know which planet we're going to go to. I'm not even going to look at them. I'm definitely going to inst install that new pack so we get the new graphics. Um, I hope you're, in you're looking forward to watching it. I'm definitely looking forward to playing it. I'm HMV and I will, as always, talk at you later.